Hello class, we're back with our second of three videos talking about your back to school cleaning questions. In this video, we're going to tackle a few more of your questions and show you how to easily prepare for back to school. Now remember to check out the other videos in this series as well as our back to school cleaning playlist. Alright, here we go. Have you ever heard of the saying, a cluttered space is the sign of a cluttered mind? If that's the case, clear your mind by having a clean desk. One of my best friends is a teacher and she told me a great tip not too long ago about keeping students' desks organized. Basically, you create a desk map and you have a place for everything so that you always know where to place something back when you're done with it. I recommend drawing one out and then pinning it up on the wall so you can refer to it throughout the school year. If your desk is cluttered, here's what you can do. Remove everything. Yes, everything off the desk. If you need to, you can do it one half at a time, starting at the left side, working your way to the right side. This makes it a little bit more manageable. Once your desktop is empty, simply clean it off, whether it's wood, laminate, or another material. Just use an all-purpose cleaner and a clean cloth to wipe it. Now it's time to get to organizing. It may feel overwhelming, but if you take your time, you'll get through everything and you'll have no clutter. It is the best way to start the school year. What you can do for basic desk organization is to have three areas or containers beside you after you've taken everything down. You'll have a toss pile, a keep pile, and a donate pile. Then you're going to sort through all of the desktop items. Now don't move from your place until you've sorted everything. You'll put everything away later, don't go to the bathroom, don't get the phone, just stay focused and you'll get through it. Okay, now that the clutter is gone, you can map out where everything's going to go. Remember to keep the desk itself very simple. That's the secret. Don't use your desk for storage, just use it as a work surface. Have the things that you're working on around you. If you're not working on anything, you should be able to see at least 80% of your desk. It's a really good rule of thumb. Now this is a pretty cool trick, and to be honest, I wish I had thought of it back in my locker days. You can change this up every three months or so and you'll be so happy you have one. All you need to do to make your own locker deodorizer is to take a small container. This one is just a Parmesan cheese shaker and you're going to fill it halfway with baking soda. Then add 10 drops of essential oil if you wish, whatever combination you like, and place cheesecloth on top of it. Cheesecloth has a lot of holes, it's like gauze so it really helps circulate the air. Secure it with a rubber band or you can put the lid back on. You can even get fancy and decorate it if you like. Then just stick it on the top shelf of your locker and forget about it. The baking soda will do all the heavy lifting for you. Just remember to throw out your old lunches and you'll be in great shape. And this goes out to all my higher education people. And it's about cleaning your stainless steel coffee mug. This is a pretty easy fix. For stainless steel mugs, all you need to do is make a paste using cream of tartar and water. Scrub the inside of your stainless steel mug with a cleaning toothbrush or even just with your fingers and then rinse it clean and you're all done. To clean your lids or if you have a plastic thermos or a plastic travel mug, you can make a paste using baking soda and water along with a cleaning toothbrush to scrub stains and odors out. Rinse it well and leave it to dry. It's so simple guys and it works like a charm. Alright class, that wraps up our second of three videos on back to school cleaning tips. We've got one more video coming up and it's all about getting inky. Trust me, you'll love what we have to say about pens, markers and crayons. There is that saying I was mentioning earlier about a cluttered desk leads to a cluttered mind. So I'm curious, do you work better on a cluttered desk, aka organized chaos, or a perfectly organized one? We want to know, so tell us in the comment box below. Don't forget to check out our playlist with some great back to school worthy videos. Remember if you liked the video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already, it's right down there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. There 
are tons of great videos on the internet about organization. Have you guys seen Alejandra's video from Home Organizing? You guys should go check it out. The link is down below if you're interested.